In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use AirPlay on your Roku streaming device. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Does a Bite. For quite some time now, Apple didn't let you use AirPlay on other devices other than the Apple TV. But recently, they made some changes and other streaming devices are allowed to use AirPlay. And I'm going to show you how you can do that on the Roku streaming device. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to check on Roku's website to make sure that your device is supported. In my case, I am using a Roku Streaming Stick 3810 is a supported model. If you have a supported model, all you do is go to system, run the latest system update, and then AirPlay will be added to your Roku device. Once you have updated your Roku device, you'll be able to access the AirPlay and HomeKit settings. And this is where you're going to set up your AirPlay. So you either turn it off, you can also put in a require code. So every time when someone AirPlays their device to your Roku, they'll be require a code. And you can also play around with the subtitles and captioning as well. And if you have any HomeKit devices, you can also set that up on a Roku device as well. So here are a few more requirements that you're going to need. You're getting an iOS device, a Mac computer, both of them with AirPlay compatibility. You gotta be on the same Wi-Fi network to make sure that it works. If for some reason you can't AirPlay to your Roku streaming device, try disabling your VPN. That might help. So here I am testing an old iPhone SE and all I did is I launched Control Center and hit the screen mirroring button. And now my Roku is basically just mirroring the screen display from my iPhone SE. And for the most part, it was smooth and I didn't have any lagging issues. So it's pretty good. So the next thing I tried out was AirPlaying a video to my Roku device. And all I did was I opened up the YouTube app and selected a video. And for the most part, everything worked flawlessly. I didn't have any lagging issues. Audio quality sounds perfect. No audio syncing issues. But before we continue on with this video, I wanna know what kind of Roku streaming device are you using? Leave your comments below. And if you find this video helpful, please make sure to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button, and also the bell notification so you get notified of new videos. And if you would like to support the channel, we recently created a Patreon page. Check out some of the Patreon levels. We got some great perks in there. And you can also support us on Ko-Fi. Let's get back to the video. The next thing I tested out was screen mirroring my Mac computer to the Roku via AirPlay. And this kind of functionality is great if you, let's say, have a presentation you want to present and you want to screen mirror your display. And you can do that on a Roku streaming device. And as you can see there, it asked me to type in my code. So I just type in a code that I set earlier. And there I am, AirPlaying from my Mac. So what you see now is, is my Mac computer AirPlaying to the Roku device. Basically, I'm doing a screen mirroring. And for some reason, there's this weird highlighted area that you might notice. Uh, I think that's caused by my QuickTime player because I was using QuickTime to do this screen recording. But for the most case, it did work. Again, no lagging issues. And this is perfect if you wanted to do a presentation and there's a Roku device there, you could just AirPlay it right there. So that is how you use AirPlay on a Roku device. If you want to learn how to burn an audio CD on a Mac or a PC, check out some of our audio burning CD tutorials at the end of this video. And I'll see you next time. 